My name is Omoto Yosei Olarewaju Um I'm an artist. Um, I study art from the Yaba College of Technology, where I did my OND and my HND. And I graduated um, from the Department of Art. I majored in sculpture. My father used to love art though, um, he's late now, may um, he rest in peace and uh, my, mom, my mom didn't give me any, any issues about me practicing art or not. So um, basically, that's, I've, I've got art inside me from while I was a child. I used to draw back then and uh, my mom used to sell some of my drawings for me in church. So I've, art, I've had art in me basically, so I'm a born artist. Like I said, I started while well, I was a child. I, I started drawing from comics, you know. I pick up comics and I draw, and that's how I knew um, I think I've got some art, you know, art skills in me basically. So I'm art, art has been inside of me basically. If you're asking for string art, basically I've been doing string art um, in a very short while now, um, say like three, four years now. Yeah, basically I've been doing string art. I ran into string art. Yes, um, at an art conference where I went with um, um, a brother of mine, um, I saw this dude just, you know, just he was just he was just stringing on the wall, like on a long stretch, no particular design. He was just from one nail to the other, from one nail to the other, from one nail to the other, like that continuously, and he formed this rays of different colors, and. I was so, I was so, you know, it caught my attention and I didn't even ask the guy what's his name and I didn't have any conversation with the guy. I just saw it. I took pictures, pictures that um, I lost some of them. I can't even find them any longer. So I just saw it and, and I was wondering, I came back to Nigeria and I was wondering, okay, that art that I saw, what's it called? What is it called? And I just went on Google and I was like, is it thread art? Is it nail art? Is it string art? And voila! And I saw and I saw different forms of string art, you know, from 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 normal, you know, simple um, artworks created and into portraiture. And I'm like, wow, wow, this is this is amazing. And um, that's how I found myself into it. following you know different artists who are into string art via social media and um, it has been it has been a wonderful um, followership and understanding some some string artists in the diaspora Now, what 
made me focus on string art. Basically, I thought it, I saw it as um, a different form of art, a form of art that um, you can liken to painting on canvas. You can liken to sculpture. You can liken to watercolor and the likes of it. So that's what me, you know, I, I, I focused it because it wasn't that um, um, known, if I should say that, in this part of the world, in Nigeria. It wasn't that known in Nigeria. And it's still not known yet, though. Well, achievement basically, uh, well, um, Bella Africana um, um, had an award sometimes, um, I think in um, 2017, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I was nominated, you know, and um, I know there are more achievements to come basically, but personally, it has been, it has paid off for me. And um, like I say, it's my, um, it's my, my found love. That's what I call string art. So I've been I do string art even to the smallest piece if it's possible for me to string. I will do I will string it. Challenges basically is uh, is, is not a widely accepted, you know, form of art in this part of the world, you know, because um, trying to push it out there, trying to market it, trying to, trying to, you know, get people, get people, you know, known and all that. Um, it has been challenging in, in such a way that questions like how durable is it? Is it last? Is it last? Does it last long? And what of you? Um, I would say that that has been the challenge, and also back to you know um, how 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 you charge and all that. So basically, that has been the challenge so far. So good, basically. The materials are readily available because um, you have here yeah, the armor, um, threads, you know, and um, nails. They are all readily available, and the woods that I use, the, the the boards that I use, they're readily available. So they are not um, they are not too much of um, um, materials that are challenging for me to find around. So materials are readily available. It's just what you um, interpret with the medium, which is the nails and thread. Yes, what you interpret with it, perhaps might be, you know, a bit uh, challenging. But so far, so good. God has been wonderful. First and foremost, I'll say um, you, um, displaying them at galleries, you know, displaying them at art shows, art fairs, yeah, which um, I had a group exhibition last year, Different Strokes, you know, with um, four, four artists, you know, two females and um, two male. So um, I was able to display my works there and I also leverage on social media which is my Instagram handle, you know, yeah, I also push it on social media, Facebook, which um, that's for many artists right now, that's our own gallery, you know. <laughs> so that's basically, yeah, how I push it out there. And people get to know it. I've got so many commissions via, via Instagram and um, I give them the glory.
For me, uh, my greatest achievement so far, because I haven't gotten to it yet, um, so far my greatest ach achievement has been impacting my knowledge, you know, impacting my knowledge of the string art, steps, methods and what a view of string art into children and even adults too. So basically that's been my achievement so far. future plan basically for me is to to be known worldwide as Nigerians famous string artists basically that's for me that's my future plan and I'm um, hoping to have a series of exhibitions locally and internationally Nothing brings money, but how diligent, how good, persistent, and creative you are with that thing you do, it will bring the money. Basically, that's it for me. Because likewise, you too, if you're not good at what you do, you won't be here. If you're not creative at what you do, you won't be here. So for me too, yeah, people will say there is no money in art. Now, would we say there is money in banking? Because I sit at the counter and I get and I receive money, it's not my money. Do you understand? So for me, what you do with your hands, diligently, wisely, persistently, will definitely bring that money you want your way and the fame. Indirectly, uh, I've been, I've been, I use the word, I won't use the word train, say inspire. Do you understand? Yes. Um, I've been able, I can't say how many people, because not everybody will come out and say, ah, you inspired me, you know. Um, a lady sometimes back um, on Instagram, she's a cake maker. You know, she just posted it and said, uh, my string art inspired her to produce this kind of cake. You know, and I was, wow. Oh, amazing. There's a lady too in Brazil that has been chatting me up. You know, she's also a string artist and trying to ask me questions, how she can go about this, how she can go about that. So for me, it goes a long way. So you never can tell how many people you've been able to inspire or touch their lives so that's why i coined it down to indirectly i know i've inspired different kinds of people either in the art sector or in the in, in whatever sector you can call it but somehow because other people too in other um, field have also inspired me you know to also keep up my 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 craft so basically for me i know i've, imp I've inspired different different people in different areas
there's nothing new they say under the heavens, you know. But for me, um, um, the material I use, which is the nail and, and thread, for me makes it unique because it's not um, it's not a widely um, found medium of art in this part of the world. So basically, for me, um, the materials I use and um, how well, I, I, that's what I've been told. How neat, you know, and 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 firm you know my threads are usually on the nails basically for me makes it stand out So far, so good. Um, my work has been to the United States, which um, a private a private collector bought off me in Nigeria here and um, took it over there. So basically, for me, um, um, that's why I said it's work in progress. Did you get it? So for now, so far, so good. Yeah, we're working on going globally. For me, I would say it's an achievement being one of the recognized, you know, or the foremost, or the one who pushed string arts out there in Nigeria, which was still working on, was still, was still keeping at it. Um, for me, I would say um, it's not adding to my back account though, but it's a plus though, yeah, whether I like it or not, you know, it's a plus. Um, people who know me to be okay, ah, the string artist and all that, which I gave myself that name, the string one, you know. But it's not um, yet, so to say, uh, a name that will be, uh, you know, on the lips of everybody. But I know very soon, someday, one day, it will definitely be. I can't say I've arrived, really, because work never ends. Even the uh, the topmost recognized artists, the Yusuf Grillo and the likes of them, you know, uh, Baba Shinowa and Co. You know, they still they are still working. So for me, um, I haven't arrived yet. Really, the sky is just the starting point for me. I haven't, I haven't gotten to that point where I will sit back and say, I've arrived. Nah, I'm not good. Though I'm a mini god, but then I haven't gotten to that point or peak yet. Any, any hardworking, diligent, and focus person inspires me. And um, if I should if I should pick from the, um, the world of string artists, um, there's this lady in UK, Debbie Smith. She inspires me with her with her works. She's a great string artist, um, a great artist basically. So she inspires me. And back home here, hmm, back home here. Back home here, there are lots of artists. I can't start mentioning names right now, but there are lots of artists back home here that inspires me. As long as, yeah, hardworking, diligent, focused, you know, and at the top of his or her game, yeah, that's what inspires me basically.
I won't lie to you. Yes, I do get injured. I even have yeah, I have a scar on my, on my, on my tongue right now. And uh, oftentimes, yes, I get injured and I, uh, yeah, you just, you know, you just stomach it and you forge your head. You know, basically, you know, when you get injured, that shouldn't be a stumbling block, you know, for you to say, I'm not doing this. But I kid you not, it's not an easy medium. 